Talking about uh, steel reserve high gravity lager. Well, there's a problem. In the community, as Reverend Al so eloquently puts it, mm -hmm. uh, that this uh, steel reserve high gravity lager, the ads are uh, racist. They show two tortoise having sex. And that's racist. And it says uh, research shows sex sells. Well, I guess it's racist putting such distasteful ads in uh, only certain neighborhoods because they were saying you don't see these ads on Park Avenue. It's all about supply and demand. Yeah. You know? And I guess there's a demand for uh, for this stuff in the community. All right. So this is the beer everyone's talking about, the high gravity steel reserve. Can I have one? That was funny. Remember when I said uh, earlier in the show, I said, is Budweiser available in uh, some of the communities that only handle steel reserve, like Harlem? Mm -hmm. And somebody said, yeah, but it's an import. <laughs> It's only available as an import. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Let me let me crack open. Wait. Oh. Eight. With a fine twist off top. 8.1 <laughs> proof. Whoa. No, it's got 8.1% alcohol. Oh, okay. Wow. 12 First fluid all, ounces. Nice and cold. Wait a minute. First of all, this, this color is a little off. Doesn't it look like a urine specimen? Oh, wait a minute. I seem to have given you the wrong job. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching some uh, In Living Color. Uh, All right. High gravity yeah. steel reserve. <laughs> Let's take a swig. Wow. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <Ugh>. God damn! <laughs> Where God damn! <laughs> Now that's good stuff. All of a sudden you start talking black when you drink this. No, right? wait a minute. Hey, <laughs> this stuff is nope. potent. Holy smoke. Ah, man, I, what the, this, it's yeah. strong. This is strong. Yeah, it's strong. Mm. <laughs> it's stronger when it's warm. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I don't like Damn. it. Damn. Do you like it? Ed? Uh it's not it's not awful bad like like Meister Brow or something. <laughs> no. It, this is like the other side of the spectrum. I don't know. I I drink this uh, in the cold on a street corner or something. But... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why it's got more alcohol in it. No, I'm serious. Maybe you've already, after you've already had six or But so. if, if I was at home and I was enjoying an after-dinner brew, this wouldn't be the one I'd go for. <laughs> I am outraged! Oh, no. I am outraged! Reverend Al, I am outraged! What the hell are you doing in the studio? I see you drinking... The Steel Reserve High Gravity Lager. Well, we want to try it. There's a lot of controversy about this stuff. So. This is a plot, a conspiracy by the white man. Why is that? 8.1% alcohol. Yeah. Well, obviously, they want the homeless to drink this. So when they die on the streets, they's already embalmed. <laughs> <laughs> you got an extra bottle? Hey, this stuff pretty good. You can have mine. <laughs> All right. Wow. Steel Reserve. No, that's that's just not happening for me at all. Hey, leave the music on. It's kind of a soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. But Doug has uh, brought us something else here, too, to try out. Oh, yeah. What? Steel Reserve. <laughs> Boy, I, I drank two sips and I'm tanked. <laughs> <laughs> it, it went right to my head, but all right. Mm. What else did you bring? He brought, um, wow, a black and tan beer called Howling Monkey. <laughs> oh, come on. Look at the label. Where's my... Where? Doug, right, a, here's my howling monkey. Dude, look at the label. Let me see the label. It's a monkey in a suit. <laughs> it is. It's planet of my the Apes. My God. <laughs> the label is adorned with the image of Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Damn you. Damn. <laughs> let, me, let me partake in some of this howling monkey. Uh, damn, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> my God. The image of Dr. Zay is staring back at me! Damn you all the hell! I can't be drinking Howling Monkey! <laughs> but I'm strangely drawn to it! <laughs> drawn to the Howling Monkey as I was drawn to Ziri! <laughs> Lovely Zira! Uh, Cornelius never knows. He will never know what happened between me and Zira. We drank a case of Howling Monkey! And then I turned her into a howling monkey. <laughs> yes. I dropped my loincloth. She saw the man with no hair on his body. I gave her some of Charton's meat. Yes, I partook in monkey meat while drinking 
Howling monkey! Damn me to hell! I like the howling monkey. Well, is it better than the, uh, the, steel, the steel reserve? reserve? What's the alcohol content on the... No. All right, shut this music. Give me Reverend Al's and I'll go back to the steel reserve. All right. <laughs> we need a little more steel reserve. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hand that to me. Yes, All right. Please. All right. Here's steel reserve. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Steel reserve definitely stronger. It's got a uh, stronger taste to it. Ah, that's gross. The howling, the howling monkey. monkey. You don't like it? No. The howling monkey? Oh. No. That's a better one. Now is this uh, <laughs> is this uh, sold in the black communities too? <laughs> is this in the community? This was around here. We could get this around. Oh, it is? Saw this in the stores. All right. Damn. I don't know. I don't like it. Well, the steel reserve will get you uh, snotted. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I'll give you that. Let me tell you, if I was impoverished and had a lot of problems and had to worry about crime and uh, shootings in my community and raising my children and sending them to a school where they uh, might be shot or stabbed, I would drink the steel reserve. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an endorsement for the Steel Reserve. Yo, man, slide a piece of the ball to drink side on the job. Steel Reserve, it's I. <laughs> <laughs>